look at all the other sides, obviously. Okay, and we will press that open. Okay. Really useful there, just for the zips there, because there's quite a few of the bags here that have the zips, and it's always it's always perhaps a bit of a sticking problem where we think, oh, the zips. But uh, Hazel there taking us through step by step. Now I'm going to take you through all the brand new projects we've got today and tell you where we're at with stock. This is very popular. Hazel says she's inspired uh, by fabric. Sometimes, sometimes the design comes to her because of the fabric. And this one is called the Bugs Quilt, and this makes a quilt top that is 39 by 35 inches and you are getting uh, 23 of the three and a half inch squares of the bugs you're getting 12 inches of the bug fabric 12 inches of the bugs on the leaves fabric and then half a meter of the red and uh, almost just over a quarter of a meter of the black as well just to go so all you need then is your wadding and your backing and uh, any, any edging you want to do and obviously the full color instructions lots of pictures and color and explanations there to take you through step by step how to create that lovely quilt 25 pounds 49 873027 right we mentioned zips and bags that's what we've got coming up next so i've got two options for you now uh this is called the lilac bag the violet bag i should say so as you can see, it comes in the violet purple, hence the name. You've got these lovely panels of this beautiful, beautiful uh, material there. But you've also got the red option as well. So we had a look at the red the last time, so let's take off the pretty violet. So you've got the panels of material there for front and back. Now, these are already pre-cut, so they're already measured for you. You get your long 16, sorry, 18-inch zip. OK, um, you also get your interfacing and your wadding. So you get your inner lining as well, that pretty material there that matches beautifully. Um, and again, you get the hardware in terms of your side clasps and the sliding clasp on the actual handbag handle itself. So that is the pretty purple option. But as you can see right behind me, there is also the red option as well so uh really lovely size bag i like the size of it because it's kind of big enough for you to sort of uh put a tablet in you know do you, do you know what i mean sometimes you don't want to you want that medium size bag don't you you don't want a huge bag because then you'll only fill it with gubbins wallet purse glasses maybe a tablet or maybe a book of uh, or maybe a book yeah it's a good book size that isn't it for it's a good it's a good going to the airport size you don't want too big you want your, your gubbins, your passport and all that, a little bit of book to read, a bit of hand sanitizer, whatever else you carry, and I don't know, your passport. Yeah, it's a good size, that. So that one is your violet bag, uh, 13 inches by 10 inches, if you'd like the proper size there. But again, everything in there to get you started, all you need is your sewing machine and a bit of thread. Gorgeous. £26.49, Ah, oh, giraffe, Gertrude, the... Gertrude the giraffe. She sold out earlier. What time does Hazel show earlier again? Sorry, it's three o'clock. Three o'clock. It's three o'clock this afternoon. And this is by one of her suppliers. They give you the whole panel. All you need is the stuffing. As I keep saying, find an old pillow or a couple of old cushions and recycle, recycle. My favourite bit. I know I should be looking at the behind, but it's her hair. It's those bows. I think that is absolutely genius. But you are getting everything to put it together. You just need your sewing machine and the wadding because it's all here on a fantastic panel. You literally just cut out the parts. You've got a picture there to show you what she looks like or how she should appear. Her pretty, you know, print on the dress. There you can see the neck, the face. So you get the 3D element. There you can see obviously that it folds over and you just sew for the actual legs. At the bottom, can you see how it makes the neck piece and look at this, I'm just going to bring this a bit closer because the material is so pretty. If you look there, you've got the giraffes, the hippo, the zebras, the toucans, the monkey in the trees. It's so pretty, isn't it? And even the panel in at the bottom. So it's all there. And even, even if you look at the end, the instructions, it goes A, B, C and one, two, three. There's the instructions on there to take you through it in terms of assembly. 
proven very popular, sold out once. We've got, it was, I think it was, was it getting limited? Well, no, the, the dog was, wasn't it? Um, this is proven very popular again. Dispatch will be the 29th of April. It's 17.99. All you need is your stuffing and your sewing machine. 405-691 for the Ginger Giraffe soft toy fabric panel. And away you go. Oh, I love that. Now, we're down to single figures for the dog quilt. That inspiration material, it almost looks, the gold within the material looks like it's gold embroidered. You can go to town on your free motion there. You've got some lovely patchwork quilting there as well. It's all explained in the instructions, but you've got, these are the large panels. You get those as one large panel in the dogs. And then you also get this material. She's done some beautiful free motion um, quilting over the top. But I do love this as well so you do get the black material the purple material that lovely it almost looks like rows of beads isn't it all you need then is your wadding and of course your backing what did hazel put on the back just out of interest oh look, a lovely black and she's done a, a lovely sort of satin black um she's got a lovely purple thread so you can actually see so if you've just got some normal black or in fact there's so many colors in there you could go with pink or blue or green couldn't you or even white uh something i like was hazel's idea the other uh, Haley, uh, using fleece as well if you cut out wadding and back in and I, I have it as one but there we go so pretty I mean just love a look at that gold on on the actual we're limited down to single figures though please don't miss out so so pretty aren't they so different it's almost like mandala doggies isn't it and then and then the um, these ones are gorgeous as well I love the fact that it sounds like Sinister, no face, but uh, you'll see what I mean because you can see the different breeds and the different positions. They're just gorgeous. Now we've got them two flexi buy payments, but you can go for one on forty-seven pounds forty-nine for the Crazy Dog Quilt Top Kit. Twenty-three pounds seventy-five, two flexi buy payments there. Three, four, nine, six, five, zero. The Keris bag next. Very pretty bag. Has the hidden zip at the front. Very pretty pinks and. Um, you've got the lovely light pink for the lining. You get the two pockets there. You get the interfacing and uh, the wadding. All the instructions there. The grey zip as well. The two zips because it's got that hidden pocket at the front. At £37.49, Uh Next up, we have the Rachel bag. Yeah, the Rachel bag is limited stock. This is this lovely tote for doing some hand embroidery. Again, everything you need. Interfacing, wadding. Lovely linen panel there. The lining has a little pocket on the inside and all the embroidery threads you get for the front of that. 1699850093. Now, our first demonstration this evening, do go back and watch the three o'clock show on Rewind because Hazel will have done probably different demonstrations then, videos, there were different ones. This is the Sheila bag she did for us today. This is the first demonstration. She, it's blue material, but don't... You get all these gorgeous gold on white fabric. Then inside you've got this lovely lining, which is a, a, a lovely white with a white paste over it. In terms of a fabric, it's really pretty. Nine five two six one two thirteen ninety nine. No zips or anything like that. Great if you're a beginner. You get your wadding and everything there. So uh, yeah, great one to get you started if you've never done a bag before. And last but not least, something a little bit more uh, of a challenge because of the paper piecing. You've got all the hexagons there to do your paper piecing, your interfacing line in two zips, everything in there, the hardware. £26.49, 991.794. Enjoy! Do watch back on Rewind, the other Hazel Fabric show, which is at 3 o'clock this afternoon with different demonstrations. Uh, it's been lovely, lovely to talk to Hazel. I've never met Hazel before, but hopefully we get, when times are different, we'll get to meet. Uh, don't want you to go anywhere, because I'm going to go back to Ali Reeve, and we're going to revisit the one-day special. Enjoy your projects. Let's see some photos of them when they're done. Indeed, it's our very popular Stamps Away One Day Special. Then we've got Sentimentally Yours, and then again we'll revisit the Stamps Away One Day Special. Now, I do have a message for our wonderful viewers in the US of A. Now, we've got this very special message for you because, as you know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have had to stop shipping to the USA because there were no flights, basically. But here's the great news. We can now ship to you again. Uh, there will be a charge, though, of $12.95 per item. Now, this might sound a little bit more expensive, but... Here's the good news. Did you know that if you join Freedom, not only will you get your newsletter, but also substantial discounts on selected items in various hours and free shipping, 
free shipping, yes, on all your orders. And that is all for just $19.95 per month. So, as you can see, freedom pays for itself. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sign up today for freedom if you are in the US of A. And we can carry on crafting and get those goods shipped to you. And you can take advantage of those freedom savings. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a Chandra. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, very good evening to you and welcome to the One Day Special. My name is Fiona and I'm here to introduce the One Day Special. Well, we launched at six o'clock and I can inform you that already a third of the stock has already gone. And what a One Day Special it is. You are getting a total of eight MDF projects. Now, I've got seven here, so I'm going to bring this into shot here because this makes number eight. You are getting the picnic bench. You are getting the actual picture frame. You are getting the uh, tree stump. You are getting the window frame, the house, the uh, bird cage. You are getting the little bucket and you are getting the uh, garden gate. 
and you are also getting the very informative DVD by Ali Ree, which gives you further project inspiration and can take you through all of these individual projects one by one. Now we've got that on two FlexiBuy payments of £24.96. You are saving £40. Now let me just highlight that the projects individually are £9.99, which we will show on the bottom of the screen. So it's almost like you're paying for the four projects and your DVD, which is $9.99 on its own, and then you're getting an extra four projects as an absolute bonus if you go for the complete collection, which is the one-day special, 766256. An amazing offer and definitely something to keep you busy in the meantime. Maybe you could split it with a friend. Uh, maybe you're just thinking, actually, I could run my imagination run wild with this because you get that blank canvas and you can make it fairy tale like you can make it literal, you can and just create with what you've got at home because it is the blank canvas for you to literally adorn with what you've got in terms of materials in your craft room. So let's take you through all of those individual projects and then we'll see some demonstrations from the lovely Ali. So this is the bird cage and uh, in this case Ali was talking to us early on the phone and she explained how she used what was a Christmas decoration inside. She had the peacock feathers, a bit of the gilding wax and lo and behold you have that beautiful peacock in the actual cage there but of course you can adorn that blank canvas how you so desire um, you have that movability which gives you that extra dimension to the bird cage it all comes flat packed all laser cut all beautifully designed there and easy to assemble with the picture on the front there so no instructions needed uh, maybe if you want to actually then glue it together you can and we've got the uh, acrylic glue on the show as well you get those 350 milliliter pots also for I think it was 9.99 anyway moving on to the next one our cottage I'm going to grab this one beside me because they can be so different uh, you know when I spoke to hey, <coughs> Ali earlier she was explaining that you know you could have a fairy tale cottage, you could have a literal cottage, um, a cottage made of biscuits, the gingerbread cottage. I mean, look how two very different these two designs are in terms of the cottage. It could be a moving house gift, it could be um, lit up with lights inside. I mean, you, the, the possibilities are endless. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, you get all the laser cut components in the MDF. You can design that and have fun and color that how you so desire. 9.99 individually 108204 but included in the one day special and moving on to my favorite simply because i don't think i've ever seen an mdf project with the picnic bench and here it is in the actual assembly form you can see all the assembled parts here you can actually put your papers on the top there uh you've got the rod there for the center and how the bench comes together is like so but what Ali has done is put some little lights inside with these flowers. It could be a, a, a beautiful cupcake display on the centre of a table. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? The papers on the front, the fringe there around the outside. I just think that's so pretty. It could be in your garden, could be in your conservatory as a display, you know, for a summer party, perhaps when we're all able to get together again. Who knows? But that is the picnic table there, uh, which is included in the one day special, but is at the bottom of the screen individually. Now, the window, the, the gateway to the window, it could be almost like an old peculiar window. It could be, uh, as we saw on the sample at the start, with the butterflies in the window box and lit up from behind. This one, we've got the almost like the apothecary bottles at the back. We've got some lovely gilding there, some flowers at the front there. I mean, this is like your oldie woldy sweet shop. We've got Home Sweet Home. If you've got some MDF letters, if not, that could be paper or scrolls. It could be a music shop window. The front of it could be a cupcake window. It could be anything. This is what's so brilliant about these designs. You can let your imaginations run wild. So this one is your window box. You could keep it very traditional in a house window box with your favorite flowers in the front. Um, moving on. There we have the MDF window at the bottom of the screen. Moving on, we've got the tree stump. And uh, here you've got it in a traditional fairy tale, almost like Alice in Wonderland with our toadstools, our phone co fur cones, our flowers. You could have bunny rabbits, you could have foxes. You could actually make that into a family tree with photos of the family. Uh, we had those lovely green man faces on the one at the start. So a little bit more magical and you can get those on the website as well. 10 of the uh, green man faces or 10 of the sort of uh, doll faces. And and again, it's really up to you. Let your imagination run wild while you've got this time. The tree stump there, absolutely beautiful. Now the bucket as well, we saw the demonstration of the bucket in the earlier show in the launch of the six o'clock show. And actually, uh, uh, Ali shows us how to 
very simply with a bit of sponge create that texture of the tree stump so do watch it on rewind this is your bucket and it does have a movable part as well you could actually use this for storage it could be your biscuit bucket it could be uh, for your threads it could be a little wishing well you know you could have a little bucket hanging down there as well but here we've got it as a, a beautiful almost like a flower bucket and the butterfly on the top there she actually got some storage in there as well I mean again lots of possibilities but do watch the six o'clock show to see Ali demonstrating the bucket there all included in the one day special I'm carrying on eight projects in total this is your picture frame your deep set picture frame again could it be a picture of a wedding could it be a special moment are you looking back through those pictures do you ever get them out do you have them digitally printed is now the time to, to get them printed up rather than just look at them digitally you could actually just create a frame for something a favorite piece maybe it is a lock of hair maybe it's a baby's shoe because it's deep set you've got that ability to maybe maybe it was a, a little pair of socks um, some memento of some sort or very ethereal here's that green man face I was talking about your favorite quote it could be a, 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 a page of a book your favorite book or a favorite bit of music or a line of a, of a famous film quote I, it could be anything but that's what's so great about the picture frame and that deep set means you could put mementos in there as well so I love that one and last but not least we've got our garden gate and again with a movable gate does your the front of your garden look like this is this the home you dream of could it be moving house could there be a, a little memento hidden behind that gate secret picture on the reverse could it be like a, a proper little cottage garden with a picket fence or a little bit more ethereal here with our gilding wax and the darker but still the enchanted garden the doorway to the enchanted garden the uncle tom's midnight garden who knows but you are getting all eight of these projects for 49 pounds 91 pence two flexi payments plus your DVD you're saving 40 pounds so a lot of projects there to really get your teeth into 766256 now we have got some footage of Ali showing these projects and doing a lovely demonstration so here's the bucket we started earlier so the papers are on the glue's dried a little bit so it's a little bit easier to handle without it um, falling apart because the glue's now got hold of it so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how nice to do the little string wrapped handle at the top. It's just one of those little finishing touches. The little handle's cute and you could wrap all sorts of things around it. You could just paint it. But I think the, the string, or as I like to call it, twine, because that sounds so much bosher than string, um, just gives it that real sort of rustic countryside feel. So all I've got is some garden twine and I cut off a little bit of a length doesn't matter we can always add more in in a minute if we haven't cut enough off so where the handle is made up of these two pins coming in it gives you a natural um, sort of ridge that you can put your string into twine now just to as I said earlier about being able to speed up the glue with your heat gun if you just give that a little blast it will just start the drying process off and mean that that end will be held and you not having to, to worry about it. And the first time I did this, I, you know, I was wrapping the string round all the time, forgetting that the handle turns. So all I start doing is just winding the handle and lining up my edges of the one piece of string with the next piece catching that end in so that will be nicely caught and round we go so just winding it round then every so often just put a little blob of glue just the first only in case it gets caught that you need a bit of glue in there and also as you come into the end of the string where you're likely not to catch it fully if you've got some glue on there it won't matter so just keep winding that round a bit like a well this is actually the bucket from our mini well we just made it larger so that it was a useful pot to put things in so round it goes and you see by using the turning of the handle how neat you can get that so if you'd got pretty colored twine that would look nice or baker's twine so we're coming to the end here 
and I want to continue because we haven't quite got so I'm going to tuck that end into the ridge there cut another short length I won't need much this time okay another blob of glue the glue dries clear this is the acrylic glue it dries clear so it doesn't matter hang on go that way just start winding it once you've got the end captured inside you don't have to worry about it at all it will just naturally be held in and as the glue dries by having the little handle to wind it it's really handy round you go and then as you get to the end just every so often bring the end round knock tuck it underneath like a, like a knot pull it a little bit tight so you've got a neat wrap it round one more time just so it's not going to unravel just tidy that up a little bit one last round and then put a nice blob of glue smooth it round and then if you want to speed it up because you don't want to hold it again blast with your heat gun just to grab that in but that end will dry clear you won't see that and your handle will be nicely wrapped traditional style and gives a really nice finish to your bucket you imagine that with a nice little trailing ivy in it just finishes it off a tree it's a really nice handle bit of gilding wax and you've got a nice bucket to put things in Yes, and uh, the first part of that bucket being made was in the six o'clock show. But uh, don't forget, you do get with the one day special, the DVD. Now, in that, she's got some step-by-step -step projects using the kits in the project collection. So she was saying earlier to me on the phone, we hope to speak to her at some point this evening as well, that, you know, sometimes you can start uh, a couple of the projects and then you, you go away and you do something else and then you come back to it and you, you think, oh. Uh, and so this can give you further inspiration and techniques as well. So uh, a great thing to revisit if you need a little reminder, uh, you know, once Rewind has gone. So you get that with the one day special as well. So you are getting eight amazing projects uh, in all of the uh, one day special. So I've tried to mix up a few because we had some fantastic samples on the show just to give you further inspiration. But uh, just starting with the birdcage, you see, this is very different again, isn't isn't it to the peacock and this is you know the birdie in the birdcage but look how different that looks again in the gilding wax it's quite spectacular isn't it um, and uh, what we'll do is we I think oh I think we've got Ali now on the actual phone hello good evening Ali hello hello how lovely to talk to you again are you all right you Ali would it be all right, because you've come up with all of these fantastic eight designs, would it be all right if briefly, if I went down the counter with you and you could talk about each one individually, just, just a brief sort of uh, little bit about each one, would that be all right? Of course I can, yeah. Brilliant. So I just want to start with the birdcage, because I'm, I'm interested about where you get your ideas from, Ali. Well, the birdcage, we did one many years ago, but it, it just wasn't quite right. There were too many bars in it. You couldn't see inside it. It was a little bit, um, the stand wasn't right. So Paul re, um, redesigned it for, for this one, a bit more ornate, a little bit more fancy on it. Also, as he's developing um, his design skills, he sees where he's gone wrong with older kits, so he revisits them and makes them better. Gosh, so that's yeah. where the bird cage came from, because, it's, again, it's just one of those sort of classic um, shapes that everybody has a memory of a grandma that had a, a canary in the yes. corner that used to put a tea towel across at bedtime and yes. things like that. So it's that kind of, sort of nostalgic, sort of classic feel. It's so true, Ali. My nana had... Uh... Um, a can a canary. Oh my! Wouldn't stop yabbering on until you put that no, she, that tea she towel. Put tea towel across them, it, so what a racket! Yeah, she loved that bird. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, I haven't thought about that for years. That's brilliant, Ali. Thank you for taking me down memory lane. Uh, memory lane, even. Uh, okay, so moving on to the cottage now. The inspiration for your cottage, Ali. Yeah. So again, this is just one of those classic. You know, that gives you just that miniature. I like working 
either oversized things or really miniature. I love doing little tiny details. So the cottage, again, was one that we'd done in a larger size. In fact, many, many, many years ago, we did it in, in cardboard. Oh. Um, and then, obviously, as we learned to use the MDF and all that, that, he redesigned it so that it came down into MDF. And then we made it smaller so that it fitted on a windowsill because the footprint was quite large before and it didn't fit on a windowsill or a mantelpiece. So oh. we made it slimmer and things like that. So, again, it's kind of that classic quintessential cute cottage, um, you know, I say gingerbread house, fairy yeah. tale house. But you do it in black, put orange behind the windows. You can make it really spooky, and again, Ooh, yeah. yeah. So for Halloween and things like that, yeah. And you're able to put your lights inside it and all that sort of thing. So yeah, that's the, the sort of feeling behind that. And the whole collection together is that sort of English countryside feeling. Yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. You can see that theme runs throughout. Speaking of which, we're able to enjoy the countryside in terms of sitting outside, hopefully, at the moment. Oh, uh, I love the picnic table. I've never seen anybody do the picnic table, Ali. Well, the, we've joked about a picnic table for years because we've got some up here on the business part that we enjoy in the summer and everything. And again, it's one of those classic, classic shapes. Um, so, and there's um, been a little video going around of a squirrel eating from one ah. um, and it sort of became a bit of a joke I went, well, why don't we do a mini picnic table but then it was like well you know you can't have the sun shining on it it's got to have a parasol so we had to work yes. out a design to do the parasol as well fantastic it is possibly my favorite because it's just something you don't see normally and I can just think of so many different ideas and I love it as a centerpiece maybe you know whether you're out in the garden or, or the table inside really I just think it's absolutely delightful and brings a smile to my face I think and it's having a barbecue you can yeah. put your sauces on the it condiments yes table. i thought a party piece would be putting little cupcakes on it as well i just thought i just thought it was so cute well, yeah yeah lovely ali lovely and uh, of course the, the the window box can be so many different things can't it ali it can um and again this came from the cute cottage because i really like the window but obviously on the cute cottage it's a bit too tiny even for me to be yeah. putting things in it so i said to paul i said well can you make one that's just like a shadow box frame, but it's the window with the shutters and the, and the window box. So voila, he did it and he made it so that it has a stand so it looks like it's floating. So you, your focus is on the window and not on the fact it's on a stand. So again, you can put things, and he did a little windowsill behind so that you can put the things inside it. So there's yeah. one that's got a lot of flowers and there's a card. I just thought an alternative, you know, for do a birthday card, but have it as miniature on the windowsill. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. It's, uh, it, like you said, it could be so many different things like uh, a cake window, a house window, an apothecary's window. Somebody Facebook messaged me and said Santa's workshop window. Oh, yes. That's a genius idea. Little toys inside. Yeah. Christmas versions of this. Yeah. This is what's so brilliant about the blank canvas of the MDF. It gets so many different ways you can use it. So I'm going to move on now to your fantastic tree stump. Yes, so I wanted something, when we, when we put together a collection like this, we try and have a range. So you've got a very specific, it's a cottage, it can only ever be a cottage. Whereas something like a tree stump, and because we knew we were having the green man plaster cast on, I wanted something that would, again, be a blank canvas that would complement that. And with fairies being very popular, just woodland scenes, you could do like a little Mad Hatter's tea party mm. on top of it with the, with the trunk being um, a picnic table. But because it's got a lot of flat area, it gives you lots of scope for decorating. So you could make that into a photo frame and just have a photo in the middle there where, the, where I put a green yes, man. Yes, indeed, yes. Uh, you know, you have those lovely photos done where the children are made into, into fairies. Yeah. that make a perfect frame for that and then by having the grass at the front you've got that those layers of dimension sort of but quite simplistic so that you've got lots of scope to make it your own you have indeed lots of room to play there at the front like you said Ali absolutely delightful and uh, we looked earlier this is the demonstration you were showing us in two parts of uh, the fantastic bucket with a movable uh, handle I keep seeing <laughs> wishing wells Ali well you you spot on there because we have a wishing well kit, and it has a tiny little bucket in it. And I said to Paul, can I have my bucket bigger, please? Uh -huh. and, he cobbled, and he made the bucket bigger so that it becomes a usable container. So it could yes. be a pen pot. It could be a gift basket. Yeah. It could be a flower pot. You could. Have, I mean, I think that would look lovely with a trailing ivy coming out oh, of it. Yeah, brilliant idea. 
So, so it's got again, it's got those strokes. But uh, you know, you could do that up in sort of the metallic silvers and make it look like a galvanised bucket and put a couple of beer bottles in it. You know, as, oh. as a gift basket for that. So you know, <laughs> it doesn't have to be pretty. It can no. be quite rustic and and um, you know, rough and ready if you want to. It just yeah. depends what what. what your style is and again that's the great thing with MDS. Sometimes you get those little spices or if you were given some somebody some herbs from your garden, a little herb plant. Um, yeah, yeah. Anything like that. But you could also do, you know, like these takeaway spas you do at the moment where you put a face mask in yes. and, I, and I pair a soft um yeah. socks or you know, so there's a little, little I just thought an alternative to a gift basket. Ah but brilliant it's, idea. It's, little, little baby shower gift, you know, a little baby flannel and talc and obviously and then it, a useful pot. In yes. The world. A useful pot to put things in afterwards. That's such a good idea, Ali. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, very versatile. And then I do love the fact that we've got this deep set uh, picture frame here, the elegant frame. Yes. Again, I wanted something that could be, it fits in with the theme, because as I say, there's a sample there with the green man in it. But it can, again, be anything. But by having that space between it, you've naturally got the, the dimensions so you can layer. So if you've decoupaged a picture, it would fit in there beautifully. Mm. You can use the back of the frame to support so you can have ivy trailing out if you want to. And by not putting sides on it, so there's the light, it's easy if you do want to put lights in it. Because when yes. we've done box frames in the past, they've had four sides on, then you have to punch holes in the MDF to That's put lights true. in. That's true. By doing it this way, you can have the light shining through. So again, you can play with vellum and things like that and, and use the light to add extra dimension to your project. And, and bring the outside in, if you know what I mean. So it can yes, be trailing exactly, out exactly. of... Uh, the picture's coming out of itself. Yes, fantastic versatility there. I, do, I keep swapping around all your lovely samples that you've sent us. So uh, we haven't just stuck, I've, I've been moving them around up and down the table so we get to see Excellent. them all. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have as much time as I'd have liked. I never, I never seem to have as much time as I like, but I, you know, I tried to do a little bit of everything. But as with any of the MDF, you could, you could go on forever. For oh. every time you do an idea, another three come to mind. Oh, absolutely. Well, what you've sent is magnificent. So I'm going to finish now with Ali and the garden gate. It's cute, isn't it? It's just, it's just that again. It, it's where's it going? But you want to ask that question. I'm an ex nursery teacher, and so we did a lot of you know making up stories. It's the perfect one. Where's the gate going to? Is it going into into the the secret garden, or is it a, a, a gate outwards to go on an Ooh, adventure? Yeah. There's so much you could do, and it's so simple. Even just plain MDF, it looks lovely. But you can do um, you know, lots of decoration again. Have trailing plants coming off it. Get all your die-cut flowers out. Get your stamps mm. out. All of those sort of things just to just to highlight. It. And again, a nice alternative to a card because it will fit on the mantelpiece easily. So again, wrap lights around it. You know, make a feature of it in the window so that light can shine through it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant ideas, Ali. Thank you for sharing that with us, and thank you for taking the time to speak to us this evening. I really appreciate it, Ali. That's all right. Thank you very much for everything you're doing as well. Yeah, no, thank you. And have a, have a lovely evening. No doubt we'll be in touch again tomorrow uh, in, in the morning at 8 for, or, or, right, or, or whenever. 8, we do 8, 12, and uh, eight, final four is at 4. Right. Yeah. Good night, thank Ali. You. Have a good evening. And you. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. So brilliant ideas from Ali. All of those projects we just spoke about with Ali are included in the one day special. You're saving £40 plus you get the DVD and of course it's while stocks last on a first come first serve basis because uh, tomorrow final call will be at um, four o'clock. Yes, indeed. So you'll get all of these, every single one of those projects for £49.91 and we split that into two flexi buy payments of £24.96 plus you're getting the DVD which would be £9.99 on its own to give you that further inspiration, the kind of inspiration we were just talking about with Ali for the projects and it was so lovely to talk to her and, and, and just glean the other ideas, wasn't it, in terms of these MDF projects because that's what they are, a fantastic blank canvas to use your imagination on. Now something you'll see Ali using in the actual footage is our acrylic glue. It's uh, the acrylic glue by Stamps Away and you are getting three pots, 50 millilitres each, that's water-based, perfect for your MDF, whether you're sticking your papers or your, your, your little uh, moss or elements on there, uh, you get those three pots for 11 092278 And something else Ali used, if you do watch on Rewind, is the background 
uh, stencils and masking stencils. She also uses these with texture paste. Uh, you get all four of these beautiful stencils for 9 dollars I'm sure you could find lots of use for these, whether you're using them with your MDF projects or for your card making at home. Right then, so you've got those lovely four to choose from. Beautiful versatility there. And you are getting all four, yeah. So what I meant was, as in choosing which one to use when you get home, yeah. So you don't choose which one you want for 9 99 Just to reiterate, you're getting all four, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go back and see some more demonstrations from Ali. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually make one of these little windows. Ever so cute. You've got a little ledge behind to put a vase of flowers on, maybe a little homemade card. Or you can build a complete scene inside, just using some nice papers. I've even added some lights to this one. It's a really unusual sort of twist on a box frame, but really nice and just gives you lots of different options and ever so easy to put together, though it looks complicated. So you get full step-by-step -step instructions, so you don't need to remember this, but the bottom bit comes in, then you pop your shutters there so you can get to them then this bit comes in I've already put a little bit of glue along there so that I can capture this um, because that's the bit that we're going to press against in a few minutes so I want the glue to be dry okay so that's caught the shutters in place now now the window comes in it slides into place along the bottom and along the top so they just slot in so it lines up behind shutters open and close then the stand can come in and that locks everything into place at the back there so just line those bits up and it will make sure that there's a recess behind the window and a little window sill on the inside. Okay, and then you want a good bit of glue on here because that's going to take the weight of your whole display. So it's got that big footprint so it can't tip forward, but you do need to glue that in. And then the window box is made with a base along here. I'm going to be quite generous with the glue there. So that goes to the bottom. Just slide that along. Now, before I fully put the window box together, I just want to show you a little trick I found because when I was doing this one, and filling it with flowers I found that the flowers kept falling into the window box and disappearing and I was either putting loads and loads of flowers in and not getting much effect but I discovered that if you cut a washing up sponge in half lengthways it fits in there a treat the green looks like moss and then you can arrange all your flowers on the top your decorative front goes on and hides all the workings you can put your flowers on the top and you've got the moss effect and it's all full nicely so ever so easy to build and then once it's built paint it cover it in paper do your sprays do your texture paste all sorts of things it's just a really nice little one to get get fun have fun with and this was the one Ali briefly showed us um, in terms of great to see that in terms of the assembly and how it comes together but uh, she was just putting the moss on there so that's keeping it really simple that's creating a lot of depth with the apothecary bottles and the gilding wax and then if you've got any of those MDF name letters I should say she's got home sweet uh, oh I've lost the end of the home there I think the enemy home's dropped off um, and then we've got the other one that we looked at earlier in terms of almost like an apothecary shot with the lights behind it so great to see that assembled so you've got those movable shutter elements in there as well fantastic um, yeah so you are getting all of these in the one day special but we've got some more items on the show so let's have a little look at these we've got a green man project kit here now if you like that green man that Ali was talking about in terms of that ethereal green man this is a plaster cast uh, and embellishing kit and um, yeah it's £19.99 you're getting the material in there you're getting some 
sort of dual embellishments. Three of the green man faces, some MDF plaques. You've got the st stencils, the glue. I think that's like a twine there as well. Um, just to create a bit of texture there, material. There's a freedom saving there as well, £17.99, 453086. Yeah. The jewel enamels, yeah. Now, this was something Ali used in the six o'clock show uh, in the first one. It's basically like embossing powder, but it but creates a, a sort of a pearlescent effect. Very, very striking. Uh, you get three of those 50 milliliter pearl jewel enamels. And judging by them, I think, uh, I think there's slightly different colors there. 622227999. And then she heated those as well, so... Now, the gilding flakes as well by uh, Crafty Notions there. You get the, the red and you get the green. Beautiful. You can see these have been used on a few projects. $9.99, brand new today, 665503. Also got some seven-day savers just while we're looking at slides together. In case you missed those, we've got to pick and mix on the leatherette. You can pick any two. Now, they come in half meters, so... If you want two of the same colour, just, just pick the two of the same colour and they'll cut that in a metre. Uh, fabric Freedom. So, uh, yeah, just double the order there. Lots of colours to choose from. 12 176061 Decoupage papers as well. Jelly Bean Crafts, Santoro decoupage papers. You get 72 sheets in total. Sepias, pastels, pinks, blues. £9.79, saving you £61. And that'll be there until 8 o'clock Sunday morning when the seven-day savers change again. And this is a fantastic one, big saving, £11. The Rainbow Card Pack, uh, 100 sheets in total, 235 GSM, £14.40. Yellow, oranges, browns, pinks, greens, royal blue, you name it, 905445. Right, on that Green Man um, project kit, uh, I've got Ali ready with a demonstration. So we're going to do a stand-up plaque now from the Green Man kit. And we're going to use our green man that we did earlier to adorn it. So in the kit you get some washables, which doesn't mean they can go through the washing machine, but basically it means that you can wash them with colour. So um, just means that they've got a black and white design that shows through when you ink them or you do a wash of paint over the top. So this one has got the skeleton leaf design. So I'm going to show you a nice little technique um, with with a bit of a with a bit of um, the ultra thick embossing jewel enamels. So the green pearl and some skeleton leaves because we all have skeleton leaves lurking in the back of the crafty closet. I'm sure that's what they're meaning about skeletons in the closet. So I've just stuck that on and then I've just got an ink spray here. This is just an ink spray. It's not, um, not a mica one. I've gone quite heavy handed with the spray. Give it a little bit of a swirl to add the, but you can see the fabulous leaf design coming through. You can dab off excess here if you want. I want it quite rich because I'm going to use some texture paste over the top and what will happen is the texture paste will actually suck up the colour and you and it will tone it down a bit so you want it to be quite colourful to begin with and you can by spraying it and then heating it you're getting a veined effect to it which is nice you could add two colours here you could add a mica one in just for speed I've gone very simple with just one colour you can see as it soaks in you get that lovely leaf design coming through okay and again because I'm working on paper any excess that goes over the edge could be create a background later nothing gets wasted so just using my texture paste ie the ready-made filler from the DIY shop you can already see that as it hits the ink it sucks up some of that and you get a bit of capillary action going on and it will bring that up and I'm just going randomly around the edge so at the moment it looks quite harsh quite 
stark against the darkness but you can see quite quickly how it sucks up the colour and tones in a little bit so it's not quite so um, stark and it looks more part of it okay and it will mix up so you can see already the the um, color changing on it it's quite a nice one to do so that side's really quite white that side is already picking up the green so he's gonna go there might put a little bit of this here but I might actually print out a nice little saying there's some lovely sayings on the internet just look for nature quotes or, or green man quotes you know or something apt for what you want so that's going to go there but you can see that that is not as harsh as it was right so fingers a little bit messy but hey where's the fun without that so what we're going to do now is I've got some little natural embellishments and we've got the little ulna, um, I call them berries, nuts. They look like little tiny pine cones, but they work really well for what I'm about to do. And have I got another skeleton leaf somewhere? You'll get the idea with just one. And I have got some gilding flake as well. Right, so move those components to one side and I am going to just flick this actually no I'm going to use that middle because I'm going to spray this so you'll get that pattern going in the paper there look at that so it's colored that and then carefully we're going to sprinkle some of this on tip off the excess so you can see the moisture has held that on heat gun now this is the tricky bit so working not if you've got a non-stick sheet that works really well but you want to heat it but obviously as you melt embossing powder it will turn to a liquid so it passes through the gaps of the leaf so what you need to be careful of is that it won't that it's if it sticks to the mat that you're working on if it does stick just warm it and while it's melted you can lift it away you can hold it with tweezers if you need to but just that's the important bit because if you obviously just pull it it's going to tear so you just warm it so it's soft and liquid again And I'm hoping that you can see that you've got a shine and a colour to that leaf now, which is going to tone in really nicely with what we've got going on over here. And our little older berries, again, just dip them into there, just so they're going to get a little bit, but we're going to do something else to those as well. So it's only got a little bit on. I've done these a few times with embossing powder and they do look really good but it sort of soaks through to the other side. So just always watch your fingers when you're doing this. Okay. Right, now I'm gonna turn this sheet over. Well, actually I'm gonna put it to one side because it's got some embossing powder on. So I'll tip that back into a pot. That's not going to go into the main pot because it got a bit of green ink in it. So it will um, have contaminated it a bit. So I'll just have a mixed pot. So good dollop of glue there for that and that and a bit of that. Good dollop of glue on the back of this guy and you can see now that the capillary action is working nicely but I want it this has got quite a metallic feel and these haven't they've got the the shimmer of the ultra thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a little bit of a gild so again this would have been easier if I'd have let everything dry but so I've dabbed on some 
acrylic glue. You can let it dry a little bit, the acrylic glue, before you do this. But that bit doesn't matter. What matters is that you wait for it to fully dry before you dab off the excess gilding flake because otherwise you're just going to rub it all off. And do you notice that I'm not tipping the gilding flake out? I'm literally picking a tiny bit up on the little bit of glue that's on my finger and I'm just pushing that in and I'm not, say, tipping it all out, just a tiny bit, just to give it a hint. I'm going to heat that a little bit to grab those in place. This is still a bit wet around here, but I'm finding that that edge is a bit too stark. It's not soft enough. So what can I soften it with? I could either go around with a Distress Ink, but I'm actually thinking I fancy a bit of gilding wax. So, yeah, that's quite... It is best to let your filler dry naturally because A, it's going to pick up um, more of the colour that's coming underneath so it will tone in even better. And two, when you dry it with a heat gun, all you're doing is drying the top surface. So when you're rubbing things like gilding wax across, if it's not fully dry underneath, it will start to peel off and you'll notice that you get the white exposed. So patience. And I'm going to add some just to the um, skeleton leaf. We want to make a highlight of that. So just around. You see, and even that, you can see the green coming through. And then a tiny bit of this. This is such a strong green, you're really not going to need very much of it at all. Just to add that. See the yellowy coming through. Just to break up the edge and sort of frame it off. There you go. Little bits there. This is the bit you can sit and fiddle for quite a while, but it's just a little few different techniques there to show you. Little saying, I don't think I've got one with me, but you know, wander in the woods or something. Don't forget your base which you would spray with that same green because that does take to the NDF quite nicely. And there you've got a nice little plaque for your green man to go on. Absolutely beautiful. That's the Stamps Away Green Man Project Kit. Now, I can say the Green Man faces that you could buy a pack of 10 of, they've sold out now. So the only way if you want uh, to get those faces is in the uh, Project Kit bundle. You do get three of them in there, as well as all the fantastic three plaques and all the other embellishments, materials, um, the actual masks and um, stencils there as well. So, and your glue. So there it is all in that uh, Project Kit, £17.99 if you're a Freedom Club member, 45308. Six. Right, coming back to the one day special proven very popular because you've got eight individual kits. You're saving £40 plus you get the DVD by Ali uh, Reeve as well. So lots of inspiration that Ali gave us when we spoke earlier. It's £49.91. You're saving £40. You've got the, the, the tree stump, you've got the garden gate, you've got the barrel that is functional basket I should say you've got the the little birdie uh, in in the ornate uh, bird cage you've got the house you've got the window frame you've got the deep set frame itself and you've got the beautiful uh, picnic table as well and you're saving 40 pounds these are available individually for 9.99 but of course, the saving is in getting all eight projects plus your DVD on two flexi buy payments of twenty-four pounds and ninety-six seven six six two five six. Okay, we've got another demonstration from Ali up next. Can have a little bit of fun now with the Green Man plaster faces. Um, there's lots of things you can do with these, and being plaster, you can use all sorts of different mediums on them. So you can go with ink, and it would take those. You can use your paints. I'm going to actually, on this one, I'm going to go for this effect, which is using the ultra thick embossing jewel enamels. So because they're an ultra thick embossing powder, you will lose some of the detail, but I think it gives it a fabulous weathered look, which is um, a bit different to some of the other ones we've done. 
but I just really love how it reacts to the black and things like that. So it's a different look, but it's a nice one as well. So we're going to be using the green pearl. And I said earlier, with the pearls in the pot, they all look the same. So what you're looking for, to, in case you forget which one's which or the label comes off, if you look on the inside of the lid and tilt the light, you should see what colour shimmer. The other thing is to tip it in the pot and you'll see the mica cling to the side of the pot and that will show you what colour it is. So that's the green pearl. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of black gesso to our green man. Okay, and you'll see that the plaster takes the gesso really quickly and sucks it right in so um, they don't take long to dry at all. You might prefer to use a brush so that you can get into all the little um, gaps but I just squidge a sponge in. They're obviously plaster so they're not as robust as MDF so you just need to take a little bit of care. Obviously if you drop them they will break. But I mean, I've I've dropped them, glued the back together again. Nobody would know. But you just and what's nice with them is you've got that sort of grain effect, so they really look like they're carved from wood, like the traditional green man. So I'm dabbing the gesso on here so that it's got um, a little bit of texture and also that it's remaining damp, so that I can throw my embossing powder on tip off the excess and you can see as soon as it hits the black you can see that green coming through. Put the lid on, turn that over, grab the heat gun. Now this will take a little while to melt but you should see with the black underneath that green coming through. Now if I hadn't have gessoed first and had just gone on with an ink, what you would find with the ultra thick is it would sink into the plaster a little bit and you wouldn't get the same shine. So here you can see the green starting to come through and again when you're using ultra thick this has started to melt but it's just a little ball so you want to heat it further and let it spread out that will also allow it to sort of flow into all the little texture from the um, casting here. So just don't worry if you see bubbles, that's the moisture from the gesso being released. The bubbles look white but that will calm down. Just going round, remembering it is hot. Plaster doesn't hold the heat as the same as MDF or anything but while that's molten you're talking 100 degrees it is hot so just apply caution what you'll find is where it's into the little gaps you'll have to heat for a little bit longer for it to melt in there but that allows the powder that's on the raised areas to flow a little bit so you, you're still picking up that texture so you can see the leaves and the black behind is really making that green deep and rich so you can see doesn't look to be much powder there but then when you melt it, it flows so what happens is where it's hitting the raised areas you, you get more of a shine on there and it highlights those. Just making sure that you can't see any crystals. Turn your heat gun off, let it cool for a second and you can see it's got all that lovely shine to it it's almost like ceramic and then we're just going to take a tiny tiny bit of the gleam tiniest bit just to catch the edges just to give it an extra little bit 
depth. So again, I'm putting my pot, my finger in the pot and then I'm scraping as I come up the side so that I'm only getting the slightest amount on my finger. Right. And I just want to add a tiny, tiny hint of this beautiful sherbet lime. Again, not too much. And as you rub the sherbet lime on, you see the greens there, but it's also got like a yellowy golden undertone. So it's got that lovely effect. And there he is in all his glory to adorn any of your projects. Bit of glue on the back and that will be held in place. You green man. Now the green man faces just to highlight, they did sell out uh in a pack of 10 but you can get them in the green man project kit as well as all the other fantastic elements as well i think you get three of them in there with three plaques and uh, lots of elements and embellishments okay but we are talking about the stamps away uh, lovely one day special with the fantastic ali reeve uh, eight amazing projects uh, including the dvd so you get this lovely country cottage or it could be a fairy cottage or it could be a halloween cottage you get the tree stump again it could be a theory it could be a family tree lots of space there at the front Ali was explaining for any embellishments you get that lovely window window box again could be literal actual window box could be an apothecary window uh, could be a cupcake house um, uh, it could be any element of things and this is what's so great about the blank MDF you also get the deep set picture frame when Ali pointed out that the sides are open so if you have lights that you want to put in there you don't have to drill holes you can put pictures in there the outside coming in uh, just gives you a lot more scope and deep set, deep set so you could put mementos in there as well uh, you're also getting the lovely garden gate it could be the midnight garden it could be the garden that opens out to the doorway to wherever it could be the little country cottage picket, picket fence uh, you're also getting uh, the lovely bird in the bird cage whether you have special memories of Nana and the canary or we had a beautiful peacock example earlier We've got all the butterflies there as opposed to a bird in the cage and then last but not least your last project is the fantastic picnic table whether you want to put cupcakes on there whether you want to put little cocktails um, whether it's just for your centerpiece in your conservatory a party but you've got to have the parasol there we got it this has got a little light attached to it as well and this is just eight amazing projects on you know available to you in the one day special and you're making a massive saving of 40 pounds and you're also getting the DVD now on the back of the DVD it takes you step by step through the projects and gives you further inspiration yeah so you can see how each one is completed and also pick up some fantastic techniques which you can carry through so if you're looking through you know if you're, if you're suddenly lacking in inspiration or you've got through a few of the projects or you're splitting the projects up this is great so if you have you know once rewind goes off air you know you have got that as your 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 sort of contact and revisiting those ideas as it were really easy to assemble all comes flat packed so if I just show you the birdcage by example all comes flat packed all legs are cut you've got the picture as a reference we've got the glue on the show as well you know to, to keep it sturdy um, there was my lovely Matt he's he, he's trying to pop another and then distance himself he's trying to pop another sample there next to me we're trying to show you as many uh, as we can today as well so that you can see some of the fantastic examples that Ali's put together but if you just look here so I'm going to show you this and this and then this one look how different all three of those houses are yeah also very very that's using the papers there isn't that beautiful so so very very different and like Ali said it came out of other projects which were too big so they wanted to fit the mantelpiece um, and and just have those movable shutters on there so uh, it's it's funny how they are, but the, the overall theme is the countryside project which is how they all tie in and again if you look there the garden gate looking so different from the literal garden gate there at the bottom as well so lots of ideas I look forward to seeing your ideas as well if you if you know once you get these do let us know in the near future as well because we do love seeing your pictures but have fun with the MDF kits don't forget to check out your baskets and uh, do shop ahead on the web and have a great evening and thank you for joining us here on Hachanda
Next up, we've got Sentimentally Yours, and then we'll revisit the Stamps Away One Day Special, and then we'll have a look at Stamp Addicts, but we'll be live again at 7 a.m. in the morning. Well, welcome back to all of our lovely viewers from the US of A. It is great to have your company again. Sadly, we weren't able to ship out to you because, of course, there is the coronavirus situation at the moment. Now, really great news. We're managing now to be able to ship back out to you again. However, it is working out to be quite costly because of things changing for us. And the price now is actually $12.95 per item. But... Do not despair, because there's a great way around this. If you become a part of our Freedom Members Club, which is $19.99, that is the one payment that you pay for the month. And what that gives you is your packaging and your posting, your shipping, basically, on the items that you buy. So instead of buying one item for $12.95, use that $19.99 and get your items sent to you. It's the best way to shop. But it's great to have you back. We're so glad that we're able to ship to you over there in the US of A. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produced paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Add Some Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparklers shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-all.